I'm going to be trying a new format. I'm going over some of the stuff I'm doing with robots, Lego, 3D printing. I'll just kind of show a few things I've done. This weekend we were talking about bicycles uh, and I decided to build a bike with Technic Lego. So I built this one. It's got a working chain. So you can see you can actually pedal it. It's a bit sticky. It is after all Lego. I suppose there might be a way to unstick it. Um, it's got some steering, spinning wheels and so on. Yes, I'm missing a tail light. Uh, the children have played with it and stuff goes missing. <laughs> and I haven't quite got the colours right and I'm not exactly completely happy with the saddle. One of the interesting things we could, I was able to do with the children was look at the gears. And they've uh, not really kind of encountered too much about gear ratios. They're quite young, but I still got them to think about, well, if you turn this one, one whole circle, I use the word circle more than cycle because, again, they're, they're only young. How many times does this one turn? Does it actually turn a full circle with the other one? Now, if you're watching in the camera, we can probably see if I bring this all the way back round to here, this one turns just a little bit more. It's only a bit more, but it's actually to do with this gear being larger and this gear being smaller. Construction. So the front forks, if I take them apart, I've used these lift arms. Now you'll notice that they've got axle holes here and here, but that axle hole actually terminates here in a non-axle hole, so it can spin. And this wheel here has got a too long axle in it and the too long axle just about fits in that free spinning area and it can free spin there. So then two of these are either side of T part here where you've got two half bushes, so clip it around each half bush, push this into here, clip it around the top and you've got a set of free spinning forks. That goes into these handles, and these handles are a little bit cheeky, they're just using axle pins with friction. That goes into this here, where I've got uh, one of these, uh, I suppose it's a, a bush and a free spinning hole at 90 degrees. That's held on with this, where I've used axles as pins throughout here. So I'm taking advantage of that yellow lift arm terminates in an axle hole um, and this has an axle hole so that gives it a nice rigid fitting. Uh, the saddle is held on by these where you've got again another 90 degree turn uh, and I'll take this apart. So there's this rubberized double bush uh, and this came I believe in the NXT set. We've got this brick with two axle holes instead of one and uh, these are the rods or the axles end with a stud and that's going through two of these. These are going to be tricky to take out, I probably need to use another axle to push them out. So we'll just do that. Okay. So that's a too long axle holding this on and this piece is one of those. Just so your camera can see this is another one of those pieces with a too long axle through it. The pedals, a three long half size lift arm with axle and a free spinning hole and another axle. Um, and there's an axle pin in here and then that has got just this 90 degree bush and free spinning hole as the pedal itself. And that just attaches to this crank. Make sure I attach them 180 degrees and the crank goes to a 24T gear. And that goes down to, I think that is a 12T gear. And then for the rear, again, we've got this half thickness lift arm and held on with small two long axles. There's a three long axle holding on the back wheel. So only half of a bush width is pointing out coming out that side, whereas one and a half is coming out that side. So I can then have it going out to a crank for that other gear on, on the chain there. Um, this lift arm coming down here, I've got another uh, cheeky construction down there. So if I pull off that, you'll see this is a three quarters long pin and I've got 
one three quarters long pin going one way there coming out here and another three quarters pin long long pin going that way between them they make this quite rigid and then for the final bit of rigidity these two half lift arms and the other ones behind the uh, crank so I'll just pop the crank off there okay so the other one goes under there in the same way those are held on by axle pins which go rigidly through the half lift arms but this lift arm here that is just a, again a loose free spinning hole and up here is a free spinning hole that creates a nice rigid structure there so it's quite a nice rigid bike structure it was quite interesting watching the chain do that I wouldn't mind seeing if I find some rubber rims for these, although that might actually foul the uh, the lift arm coming down here, so I might need to give it more clearance if I do so. And it would be nice to try and colour coordinate it a little bit better too. So while it's it's not a perfect construction, I was still quite pleased with the result. I mean, generally a fairly good gauge of whether a Lego model has worked is whether you can actually show it to the children and they know what it is without you having to explain what it is. Because if you spend quite a long time explaining it, uh, maybe it doesn't quite represent what you expected it to. But I think this is both visually and a mechanical representation of a bicycle. And it works. And uh, yeah, I suppose that's kind of the, the magic of Technic Lego, isn't it? That you make something that really does do the trick and really does work and demonstrate the engineering principles for real. Now, the chain needs to go on really before that other pedal, otherwise it gets quite difficult. Getting these chains on it's a little bit loose and it you might be able to take another chain link out but i've i've shied away because that's if you make it too much tension it won't turn at all yeah and other than missing one light which i'm, I'm afraid i've not been able to find yet there's a working steering bicycle which benefits from uh, positionable handbars yeah sure you'll be able to make some of these I'd love to see other people's uh, versions upon this um, or bicycles they've made if they've made other technical bicycles that look better than this or work better than this I'd love to see them thank you see you next time